Woo. That is fancy. Ah. That was a bit of a mess around, to be honest. Good not, morning from our home country. Not off to the best start today, but that's okay. We have picked up a car and we're gonna drive to the Blue Mountains and then eventually to Canberra. Because we couldn't actually get a flight from Sydney to Adelaide. It was crazy expensive. It worked out cheaper to rent a car, drive to Canberra and fly home from Canberra. We technically got this car for a dollar a day. Mm. We'll tell you about that later though. For now, I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Let's I'm go. I'm so hungry. That took so much longer than it should have. First thing that we're planning to do is stop by a supermarket and pick up a lot of food because we're both <laughs> really, really hungry, but also mainly focusing on those snacks and Australian things we missed for the last eight months that we haven't been in the country. And to say we're excited would be such a huge understatement. It's quite the list. Also, I am the driver this time, which you might find weird because normally Jordan drives when we get rental cars, but his driver's license has expired. So it had to be me. It's really nice. It's such a new car. I can't believe we got this for a dollar a day. Sydney roads are no joke. They suck. They suck. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you missed a turn. Now it's going to take 15 minutes to just slightly turn around and get back to where you were. Nightmare. I'm so hungry. Didn't get everything we wanted. A few things I'm super excited about, but a lot of our list, I didn't realize it was like South Australian foods, not just Australian foods as a whole. There's a couple of things we're missing, but I'm really excited for this picnic. Sydney traffic is really making the day get away from us. It's already midday and we've only really got to what we're calling breakfast. It's not really your usual breakfast, but we've missed this stuff so much. We're still gonna have to go into the mountains and like do heaps of other stuff and then drive to Canberra. So there's so much we need to do. I think this is like, oh, these two, probably the most like Australian things that we missed. This is my favorite cheese of all time. And of course, Tim Tams, but we got a new flavor, salted caramel brownie. We also got some spicy hummus. Jordan got an iced coffee. It's not the brand we like, cause that's South Australian, but not bad. So nice being home. Plan was to grab this picnic stuff and picnic with a view of the Blue Mountain, but we are both starving. So we are still about a 50 minute drive, I think, from any of the viewpoints, but this was the closest park to the Woolworths we went to. <laughs> We've made it to the first stop on our Blue Mountains trip, the Three Sister Lookout. Apparently it's 15 minutes and we only put 15 minutes on the car parking, so we're gonna have to hustle. We are now in our home country and I'm probably speaking for both of us when I say it's probably the most difficult to speak to the camera here. Like it's the most uneasy. Yeah, I have this fear of embarrassment that people will like recognize me even though I don't know anyone that lives out in the Blue Mountains. But also everyone speaks English. Mm. Everyone understands what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. It's more anxiety inducing than anywhere else we've done it, but we're trying. <laughs> 
trying to fake it till we make it with confidence. And there was so many people at this lookout. Oh so it was a bit uneasy. We got a few B-roll shots, but, and picked up an info guide. Yeah, the only fact we know about the Blue Mountains is that the blue color comes from all of the eucalyptus trees and the oil like fragments with the light in the air and it turns a blue color. And it looked really cool in the camera, which I feel like isn't common. Like normally something looks cool in real life and it's disappointing in the camera, yeah. but it was almost better in the camera. Hopefully it looks so good when it's done. <laughs> I'll just make it super blue. <laughs> just fake it. All right, next stop. Yeah, how far away is this one? It is an eight minute drive. Five minutes down the road, a blog post told us to come to Boar's Head Lookout. Feels like we're by ourselves, so it's not bad. Yeah, there's like one car actually parked at the lookout. You ever had to fly the drone here? I don't know, I don't think so. Uh, three cars, damn. <laughs> we've been away from Australia for a long time and we've missed it. I have not missed the flights, not one bit. That's a cool lookout. It's Boar's Head. It's the head of a boar. I think that's the highlight of this road trip so far. Oh, you're over there. Because <laughs> you put me on the short side <sighs> with your arm in my face. <laughs> I think so too. If you're coming to the Blue Mountains, try and come just 10 minutes down the road and see this instead. Yeah, Three Sisters is packed. It's beautiful, but it's busy. Yeah, and here, it's just as cool in my opinion, and no one's here. We were here with one of three, and everyone was being really quiet and respectful of each other. We just listened to all the birds and the sound, and this family got here like yelling. Yeah, there's always one family. <laughs> So that's why we're leaving. <laughs> There's also this smell. It just smells like Australia. It smells like home. It smells fresh. I love it. We also got here before a huge tour bus came up. So lucky. We've now got a four hour drive in the direction of Canberra. I say in the direction because that's ultimately where we're going tomorrow, but we need somewhere to stay tonight. So if you see somewhere nice along the way, we're probably gonna pull over and stop in a motel. We've purposely mapped it so we're going more out into the wilderness rather than going back through the Sydney area. So it should be a pretty nice drive. This adventure is all about reminiscing what it's like to be here in Australia. That's why we ate all those Australian foods and we're listening to Hamish and Andy who are a comedy duo in Australia. Just having the best time being home but also feeling touristy still. One thing I am loving about this road trip so far is how much we are appreciating the Australian landscape. I feel like it's so easy when you just live somewhere to just get so used to something and it's so like mundane. But it's been really nice to try and put on our tourist goggles and really take it in because it is such a beautiful country. I'm so happy to be here. And we got so lucky with the weather. It is like perfect blue skies, but with all these beautiful white clouds. such a good day to do this drive. Some of this scenery is so beautiful. Like, I don't think I've seen trees this good in Australia. The last hour has been breathtaking. Like these green rolling hills and the trees with the blue sky, it's just so nice. All the towns are like really cute local country towns that have super wide roads, nice little pubs, love it. It's been hard not to stop at every single one. Yeah. <laughs> We are 
two pubs down in this tiny, tiny town. I don't even know the name of it, to be honest. <laughs> one of them was booked up and Jordan has run into the second one just to double check if they have rooms or not. So it was a really nice pub, but they didn't have snitties, which is what we really wanted. Otherwise, I think it's only like an hour to the next town, which should be a bit bigger. But Jordan did look online there and booking.com I think was quite expensive. They are all booked as well. So there's a huge wedding on apparently and all the towns are here. So I don't think we're gonna get a place here. Next town? Yeah. Stop number one in town number two. There's nothing in this whole town. We think now instead of walking into every hotel we see, we're gonna grab a meal and then drive an extra hour into Canberra and just stay there for the night. Which sucks because it means we're getting there at night time, but honestly we don't have any options. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we're doing. Really didn't think we'd have trouble. I was like, oh, there'll be heaps of motels and stuff. Everyone will have vacancy. Nope. We've come back to the first pub in the second town because it's the cutest and we're really, really hungry. And then with the hope was we would just search on our phones while we sit here to figure out where we're gonna sleep tonight. But neither of our phones are working. Mine won't connect to their Wi-Fi and Jordan's data isn't running. <laughs> I think we're not going to plan today. We managed to book a place. It's a motel. It was still over our daily budget, but only just. And if it's got good reviews, I'm sure it's all right. big things on this mini road trip. The big merino. Why do we do this? How did the history start? Do you know? No. I wonder what the first big thing was. Let me go all the way. That's big. And the sun's going down. That was a nice way to end the day. Mm, Pelican's beautiful sunset, like the drive here and then to stop at this lake and see the sunset like that was really gorgeous. We will tell you how we got this dollar a day rental tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we Sorry gonna, to keep putting it off. We were gonna do that today, but yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're exploring Canberra. I'm excited. It should be a good day. lanes to turn slightly left towards Campbell Road, 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 Campbell Road. Be on Campbell Road forever. Funny. <laughs>